Hi, I'm Dr. Bradshaw of Wilmington Functional Medicine, and today we're going to be running through how to properly run a salivary test known as the adrenal cortex test. So you should have this box in front of you. If you do not, go ahead and grab it um, so we can go through the uh, contents of the box and make sure you've got that all set up correctly. If you don't have this with you at all, it's possible that um, you need that from us. So make sure you grab that from our office. You can call us uh, and we'll take care of that for you or send us a portal message. So let's go through the contents of this box. This is important. When you open it up, you will see an instruction booklet. You will see a card for labels for your uh, tubes. You'll find a tray with six tubes in it. You'll find a wrapped up FedEx bag with a rubber band. You'll find a biohazard bag as well. We're going to set all these things aside and do not throw away the original packaging. We will need this, so don't throw that away either. First things first, top part of the instruction booklet, it's going to say activate this test. You're going to X that out. We're going to skip that part. This uh, makes your test results take longer to get to us, so we're going to skip that part. At the top of the card, it also says the same, activate online. This puts you into a very large nationwide survey of, of course, anonymous, but yet um, uh, important data research that Genova runs. It just slows down our ability to get back those test results, so don't run that, please. Uh, we want to get your results back as fast as we can go, obviously for your sake as well, so you can go over it with us. But on that card, you'll see labels. You'll be eight of them. You're only going to need six of them. They're going to go with the six tubes that you have here. So what I recommend is to go ahead and take go ahead and take these labels and put them on the sticker. So you'll peel it off, the little horizontal stickers, you see them peel off right there. You're going to put one on each of these tubes. Just stick it right on there, horizontally this way. Okay? Don't cover up the numbers. The numbers are important to see. There's a black line on there that I had put there for your uh, purposes here, but don't cover up the numbers because you need to see those as you're adding your saliva to your tube. So do it on the back side. You'll see like this white little label. Just put your label right over that. And here's what's going to go on your labels. This is important. Each label, you can go ahead and put your name and your date of birth on each label. If you want to write it on here first, then put the labels on there, that's fine. The only thing you can't put on there at this current moment is the date you're going to run your test and the time you collected your saliva. You'll have to do that as you do each tube of saliva, okay? But nonetheless, go ahead and put your uh, name and date of birth on each and every sticker and then put a label onto each one of these six tubes. So those are already done, okay? Next, remember that prior to doing any of these uh, samples, you need to do nothing but drink water for an hour. So, those instructions at the bottom, right here, no mouthwash, no chewing gum, no eating food, obviously. Go through the list. None of those things for an hour. It's just drink water. So, um, inside then, we'll go through the inside of the instruction booklet, and it talks about the, uh, over here, when to actually collect your, your saliva. So, let's go through it. By the way... Um, we do recommend between doing these tubes of saliva that you do brush your teeth so you get foods and particulates out of your mouth and that doesn't end up inside your stool sample, which can alter the results. So it is a good idea um, between um, running this that you do actually brush your teeth, except for the first and second tubes. We'll talk about that in just a second. Um, but anyway, just want to have your mouth clean. So first set of tubes, these blue ones you see at the bottom, these will be the first two that you do. The first one you will do is first thing in the morning. So I recommend you put this on your nightstand at night. When you wake up, the first thing you're going to do in the morning, the very first thing, you're going to get up and start putting two saliva into your tube. You want to get it up to the number one. That's on that black mark you can see there. So this goes all the way up to five. We only, only need one milliliter. Fill it up to the top. Go back to your case. Put your tube back in your case and keep this case in the freezer. Now that we started to collect your saliva, we're gonna freeze it. So go ahead and just put the whole thing in the freezer. Next one will be a half hour later. So if you wake up at 6.30 in the morning, this one will be at seven. You're gonna do the exact same thing. You're gonna fill it up to one milliliter right here, 30 minutes after you've woken up. Okay, so you've done some things, you've been uh, you know, doing your daily routine, getting ready for work, or whatever it is you do in the morning. 
But what you have not done is put anything in your mouth or no lipstick or lip balm on your mouth. Keep everything clean and just with drinking water. Uh, now that we've done this half hour tube, we'll put that one in the freezer. And now we've got the two blue ones completely done. That's the first waking and half hour after waking tubes, okay? You can go ahead again, put it back in the freezer, keep this stuff frozen. The next sample will be between 7 a.m. and 9 a.m. It says it right here on your booklet. You can read it right here. Number three, two, number three. So you grab one of the white ones now. These are the last four you will run. These are the first two, these blue ones. The white ones are the one you run next. So take one of them out, doesn't matter which. Make sure as you go through the, each of these uh, tubes that you fill up, you put on there the date you've uh, collected the saliva and the time of day. If it's 7 a.m., if it's 3 p.m., you need to write that on there when you collected your saliva. With these white ones, you'll need to collect a little more. You're gonna go through the three milliliter mark. I marked it with a black line. You can see it right there. It says right on there, three milliliter. You're gonna fill that up to the top or to the, that three milliliter line. Don't leave it less than and don't put more than, just up to the three milliliter mark. Again, when you've done that, back to the freezer, okay? Next one will be between, I said seven to nine for the first one, for the third one, excuse me. Seven to nine for that third one. This next one will be between 11 and one. So this is the fourth two, okay? So, so far you've done waking, half hour later. Third one's between seven and nine. The next one's, this one right now, is between 11 and one, okay? So if you've eaten lunch, you need to wait at least an hour before you take this tube. So hopefully you can then get this tube of saliva done uh, between that 11 to one window. Same exact thing, get it up to three milliliters, right there where that black line is, and then you're done. All right, back to the freezer. The next one, this is the fifth one. This will be between three and five, exact same thing. Three, three, three milliliters, fill it up to there, close the lid, back to the freezer. And then the last one is between 10 o'clock and midnight. All right, that one goes right there, three milliliters again. So all of these will get three milliliters. All of the blue ones, the first two in the morning, only get one milliliter. All right, let's be clear with that. And again, every time you're done, it goes back in the freezer and you write on there the, today's date and the time that you collected the saliva. The lab needs to know that, it's very important, okay? And then you're done collecting your saliva. That's it, and it stays in the freezer until you mail it off. We'll talk about that in a second. Here's the thing that screws up people's tests the most. You didn't collect enough saliva. So some things that can help with that are to um, massage like the sides of your mouth right in here, the jaw muscles. That can help stimulate the lacrimal glands that produces more saliva. You can also, uh, with your teeth closed, push your tongue against the back of your teeth. Like you're trying to push your tongue out of your mouth, but with your teeth closed, like. And that can stimulate the lacrimal glands as well. You can also walk into your kitchen and smell some flavorful foods. Um, that can also stimulate, don't eat it, because you need to actually do a saliva sample, but you can smell it, that will stimulate saliva. Those things can really help. Um, smelling lemons can also, also really help too, kind of get that saliva going. All right, they're frozen, right? So now we're gonna send it off. You're gonna to go to your biohazard bag, which came with this. You're gonna open that up, put this in, close it up. All right, and once that's done, you're gonna go back to your original packaging that the whole thing came in, the test kit. You're gonna put that back into your box, close it up. And the last thing you're gonna do is take your FedEx bag, unfold it, and I recommend that the rubber band that held the FedEx bag together, you actually put that around your adrenal cortex test kit to keep it closed so it doesn't pop open in transit. That's what I recommend. This plastic kit stays together pretty well, but the rubber band ensures that it won't open up as it's traveling. Open up your FedEx bag and take your FedEx. There's gonna be two pieces of paper actually in that FedEx bag with it. You'll get your label, FedEx label, and then these blue instructions with how to send it off. If you live in a rural area, you might need to have FedEx come pick up your package. You can do that. You just need to use this blue piece of paper to help you with that. Um, otherwise, you're gonna take your label and you're going to peel off. There's the middle part, this big middle part here. There's also some barcode numbers on the side. You're gonna fold that back because you're gonna keep that part. The big sticker in the middle, you're gonna unpeel that, or peel it off, I should say. And you're gonna stick that right onto the middle of your bag so that it looks like that. Okay. 
Once that's on there, you take your kit, put it in your FedEx bag, peel off the liner, close it up, and you're good to go. This is a class category B biohazardous material. So you need to make sure that wherever you're dropping this off, if you're dropping it off, that you find out if your FedEx uh, location has or handles biohazardous material in terms of category B. Ask them first, because you don't want to screw this up. We want to make sure it gets to the lab and we get those results back as fast as possible. If you're in the Wilmington area, southeastern North Carolina, uh, the one in town is near college in Oleander. They do accept these, so you just need to drop it off during business hours. Um, just make sure you keep your, tu your tubes frozen. Like the only time you're going to take it out is when you're ready to put it in the FedEx bag and take it to FedEx. All right, So keep it frozen up until then. Uh, if you're not in this area, look online, find your nearest FedEx uh, store and shop. Just make sure they handle these biohazardous materials. Okay, keep your uh, little barcode on the side here. Keep that, that's your tracking number to make sure they get it. it takes about two weeks for them to process these results. And so uh, get, these, get this done as quickly as possible. Again, start in the morning, run it all the way through till nighttime, all six tubes. If you have not run six tubes, you have not done it correctly. All right, send that off and remember that and the one thing I will also say that can screw this test, this test results up are people do not put those lids on tight. First of all, they don't screw it on straight, so it's kind of cockeyed, right? Instead of the lid being on like it should, it's kind of tilted, and they try to close it not paying attention, their dog's bothering them, or their kids are crying. And if that happens to you, you're gonna have saliva thaw out and leak out through the lid as it's in transit, and that's gonna be problematic. And they're gonna tell us, Test kit is void. We have to do the whole thing over. We have to give you a whole new test kit, do the whole thing again, and wait two more weeks to get the results. So let's avoid that. So check the lids every time you close it. Make sure it's on straight and it's screwed on tight. There's no way that the saliva can come out of there. All right, that's important. So get that test run off to FedEx. It goes. We look forward to going over the results with you as soon as we get them. Have fun.